healthy and also Hey, how are you? I like that. Hey Everything is good? No, that's okay, that's okay, how are you? Perfect. You're always up? Yeah, Thank you. We are gonna come back for your maintenance. Okay. Yeah, we will call you. I want to do some outlet, right? Yeah, this cause this is the customer that you had that had referred us uh, to this person to do the installation. Yeah, most of the time we have uh, happy customers that they have referred us uh, to new customers, and it uh, gives us an idea that yeah we are doing uh, what we were supposed to do. Today we are doing the 26 kilowatt air cooled unit for this customer. It's not feeding the whole house, it's some part of the house. They have a 400 amp uh, entrance. Mm, we, it was possible to put the whole house, but they didn't want to. We are doing the uh, one panel. Every project is different. Uh, although we have installed more than 300 generators, um, still we have to uh, adapt the installation with every single house uh, so let's say for this house uh, where to put the generator where to put the transfer switch in order to make the minimum damage uh, to the building uh, and also uh, how visually is um, acceptable by the customer um, or accessible these are the things that we have to consider before every single project uh, although we have uh, an idea of where to put it, again the day of installation we will check with all the technicians, this is the plan and this is what we are going to do and also uh, different scenarios uh, to start a job so everybody is on the same page and then uh, we start the project. We are going to go inside to see where to put uh, the transfer switch, this is how it looks. So we had to do a modification, the switches we had to move and the disconnect switch had to go lower so that uh, we are able to mount the transfer switch. So from this point it's a straightforward installation. Uh, the wires are removed, uh, he's passing the wires, new conduits and then um, power is off apparently. At the end of the job we are going to do the tests and then give the power to the house. We will go to the back to check uh, the location of the generator and also uh, the way we are passing the wires. So customer had made the trench, propane tanks are going to be there 10 feet far from the generator. And then it's covered, he's going to cut these trees so that we have enough air circulation for this generator. We had to follow the rules, so 10 feet, 3 feet on the side, each side and minimum 18 inch at the back. Uh, 
So these are the documents um, for the generator transfer switch, how to connect the generator to the Wi-Fi. We do the connection um, of the Wi-Fi during the installation. But if ever the network uh, has been changed, you need to follow the instructions here. Uh, also, there are some um, useful documents uh, of how to maintain the generator. Uh, to know more about your generator, you can read uh, this is a small pamphlet. And this is the reminder of the maintenance. At this page here, I'm going to show you. This is the maintenance. So it says first time is after 25 hours of operation, we need to do the first maintenance. And then every 100 hours uh, or every year, whichever comes first, we have to do the maintenance on this generator. And what you should do, I mentioned here, so every year you need to um, inspect if everything is clean, the connections are good, there is no leak, check the oil. And as you can see, every year we check the water intrusion, we check the fuel, we check the battery condition, um, replace engine oil and oil filter, replace engine oil filter. Um, so these are the things, a spark plug, uh, valve adjustment. After 400 hours, these are the things that we have to do. So the generator is coming with uh, the original oil from the factory. And after six months or 25 hours of operation, we have to change this oil to put the full synthetic oil. Um, if you have done the maintenance by, by yourself, uh, you need to keep the record of it for the uh, warranty. So let's say here you can put the date and uh, the, some information about the maintenance that you have done. Keep the record with you. And then if ever you need to uh, claim something under the warranty, uh, we have to send this report to the to General. Uh, that's all for today. And this paper is a reminder for the maintenance what you have to do. Um, we put it separately because sometimes uh, people forget that there is a maintenance, a mandatory maintenance on these generators. If you don't do the maintenance, uh, Generac may simply void the warranty. So yeah, it's worth uh, doing the maintenance on this unit so that uh, it works whenever you need it. Generator is not activated yet. We are going to go through the activation and then uh, we should be ready to do the test. to then we have to enter so it's six percent good enough it's gonna do the job I'm gonna say hit enter because it gets the time from the network it's all set I'm gonna put it on auto breaker is on we will go inside to cut the power the generator is gonna kick on and kick in and give the power to the house Okay. 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 Maintenant, quand Hydro revient, il attend 30 secondes pour voir, pour voir si Hydro est correct. Après ça, il va transférer un port sur la Hydro. On attend 30 secondes. Ce serait la même clé. Voilà. Dans, dans une minute, il va arrêter lui-même lui la génératrice. Donc, c'est tout automatique. Oui, c'est ça. Pour tout chaque Non. Euh, chaque deux semaines, on l'a dit, chaque deux semaines, 10h au matin, il va fonctionner pour 5 minutes. Oh, okay. Pour faire le test. Euh, il ne coupe pas le courant, c'est juste le génératrice yes. qui va démarrer, fonctionner pour 5 minutes, et il va arrêter le Puis euh, pour deux prochains lundis ou chaque lundi Chaque deux lundis. Chaque deux lundis, tout le oui. temps, tout le temps Tout le temps. Ah, oh, ok. 
okay. pour le test. Il doit être comme ça. Euh, C'est tout. Donc, si euh, dans six mois, on doit faire le premier entretien, après ça, ce serait chaque année ou son ordre de prendre de cours. Oh, d'accord. Oui, laquelle qui vient plus tôt. Par exemple, s'il y a quatre jours pas de courant, on doit faire un truc. Ok. Euh, sinon, chaque année. Ok, chaque année. On va vous rappeler. Euh, oh, il y a un ça. contrat d'entretien, on peut envoyer. Ok, parfait. Voilà, j'ai lancé sur la fin. Là, arrêtez. Pour mettre sur off, on hit juste sur off. Oui. Pour auto, ils vont mettre sur auto. Ils vont toujours on. La lumière est toujours verte. Oui. Si il est jaune, il fonctionne. Euh, euh, rouge, rouge fonctionne, fonctionne pas. pas. Dans une année, ça serait euh, vert et jaune dans le même temps. C'est un entretien, c'est ah, une indication d'entretien. Ah, okay. Mais dans six mois, on va faire l'entretien. L'année prochaine, le même temps, ça serait vert et jaune. Touche pas, laissez comme ça. Après six mois, on va venir okay. pour faire l'entretien. Okay. Il y a un switch en arrière. C'est un auxiliary shot. Hein. Si quelqu'un touche par accident, oui. ça serait rouge. Ah, ok. On doit mettre sur on et suivi ici. Il va vous dire qu'est-ce qu'on doit faire. Il dit push off, then enter to clear the alarm. So off, enter. Maintenant, il dit push on the tree, start in order. Donc, on Ok. C'est fini. C'est plus facile. Pour faire le reset, c'est toujours comme ça. Off, enter, on. Ok.